Roller Derby has ridden a roller coaster since it was first played back in 1922. Recently, though, there's been a resurgence in the game and the Derby girls, including here in Knoxville. Chris Budden has more on the Hard Knox Roller Girls. By day, it's an empty warehouse at the Lenore City Armory. And by night, it's the home of the Hard Knocks Roller Girls. I love the, uh, the umph, you know? That's, that's the whole part about it. I have never felt something more intense as Derby. Um, you're, you're in the rink with the girls. You get hit when the girls get hit. It starts with a name. Actually, more like an entire identity. If I could pick any person that I wanted to be, what would I be? We have girls that paint their faces and come in like crazy costumes with like staffs with like a, a goat head on it. You're just crazy stuff, you know? But I mean, that's their identity. The name says it all. Once you have the name, now it's time to learn exactly how to play. The object is for since I'm offensive, which is called the jammer, the defensive people want to get me through the pack. And as soon as I get through that big pack of defensive players, then I can start picking up points on opposing players. My goal is to skate as fast as I can and get through and not get hit. That last part is the hard thing to do, the part about not getting hit. One of my good friends on the Black Bettys broke her leg in half. Literally in half. <laughs> so if you're not afraid of a few spills or some strawberries, you might give skating a spin. Chris Button, 10 Sports. Well, the Hard Knocks girls' next home bout is this Saturday against Memphis at the Knoxville Coliseum.